Charles Law. Observations made during flying in air, with the help of hot air balloons, motivated French physicist Charles to discover that volume of given mass of gas increases with temperature when pressure is kept constant. The relationship is known as Charles' law. Statement The volume of a given mass of a gas increases or decreases by 1 upon 273.15 of its volume at 0 degrees Celsius for very degree rise or fall of temperature at constant pressure. Explanation At constant pressure, let V0 be the volume of given mass of a gas, at 0 degrees Celsius. Let V1 be the volume of same gas at 1 degree Celsius, then according to Charles' law, V1 is equal to V0, plus, V0 into 1 upon 273.15 is equal to V0, into 1 plus 1 upon 273.15. Similarly, if V2 is the volume of the same gas, at 2 degrees Celsius then, V2 is equal to V0 plus V0 into 2 upon 273.15 is equal to V0 into 1 plus 2 upon 273.15. Similarly, the volume V3, at 3 degrees Celsius, is given by, V3 is equal to V0 into 1 plus 3 upon 273.15. So that, at any temperature, T degrees Celsius the volume Vt, is given by Vt is equal to V0 into 1 plus T upon 273.15. Therefore, at some hypothetical temperature, 273.15 degrees Celsius. V273.15 is equal to V0 into 1 plus 273.15 upon 273.15 is equal to 2V0. Thus, at 273.15 degrees Celsius, the volume of given mass of gas is exactly doubled as compared to its volume at 0 degrees Celsius. Similarly, at minus 273.15 degrees Celsius the volume of the same gas, will be V minus 273.15 is equal to V0 into 1 minus 273.15 upon 273.15 is equal to 0. This means that, at lower temperature of minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, the volume of given mass of gas, becomes absolutely zero. But, this is ridiculous. The volume of given mass of gas, becoming zero is difficult to accept. However, it is found that, before this lower temperature is reached all the gases are, both liquefied, or even solidified and, gas does not exist. The lowest temperature of minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, at which volume of given mass of gas, becomes absolutely zero is called, absolute zero of temperature. The new scale of temperature was introduced by, Kelvin starting with absolute zero, as zero Kelvin, or zero K. The relationship between, Celsius temperature that is, T degrees Celsius, and, Kelvin temperature that is, T K, is given by equation. Tk is equal to T degrees Celsius plus 273.15.
the volume of gas, Vt at any temperature T degrees Celsius, is given by equation. Vt is equal to V0 plus V0 into T upon 273.15 is equal to V0 into 1 plus T upon 273.15 is equal to V0 into 273.15 plus T upon 273.15. Now, 273.15 plus T is equal to T. Temperature is Kelvin scale and 273.15 is equal to 273.15 plus 0 that is. The temperature 0 degrees Celsius converted into Kelvin scale. Hence, 273.15 plus 0 is equal to T0K. Hence, Vt is equal to V0 into T upon T0 is equal to Vt upon T is equal to, V0 upon T0, is equal to, constant, is equal to, K2. Or, V is equal to, K2 T that is, V is proportional to, T. Hence, Charles law can also be stated as, at constant pressure volume of the given mass of the gas, is directly proportional to absolute temperature. The Charles law, may be verified by plotting graphs of volume, against temperature at different constant pressures. These graphs of different constant pressures, are called, isobars. When the graphs are extrapolated, all the graphs intersect x-axis, at minus 273.15 degrees Celsius that is, 0 K, at which volume of given mass of gas becomes, absolutely zero, and, the temperature minus 273.15 degrees Celsius, is the origin zero of Kelvin temperature. 